the space race inspired a generation of scientists and innovators. It's contributed to immeasurable technological advances. I just see it uh, as a beginning. Uh, not just this flight, but in this program, which has really been a very short piece of human history. We will not only look at revising or modifying older models, we want to look at new designs, new materials, new technologies. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. And I think long term, we find for the first time that, that man has the, the flexibility or the option of uh, either walking this planet or some other planet. Hey, hello, is that me? Are we on? Yeah, I think we are. So, hi everybody. <laughs> uh, my name is David Ross. I am a resident here in D.C. Okay, we'll get that camera out of <laughs> my face. What are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Why do you guys want to film me? Jason, are you recording again? Of course he is. Hi, Jason. So two weeks ago, a friend of mine, Steve, approached me with this flyer. Um, a hospital here in DC was offering $5,000 in exchange for your body. Yes! Woo! Why are you celebrating? <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I had some problems in my small intestines, um, just something I've had since childbirth. And they told me that it could possibly get better. So I went in and basically got talked into doing this uh, genetic procedure and I had what I thought was human genes injected into me. Um, but since then, I have found out that things aren't so legit. What started out as just a little bruise has grown to, as you can see, about half my chest. Canadian friend. trying to call you all morning. What a situation we First David, now Eric. What do you think this is? I reviewed the footage. There's one girl left alive. We have to do something. We'll find her. Anyone can. It's Alex Burbrick. Um, now my buddy Eric, who I told you about that was in, in the hospital with me, I can't get a hold of him. 
Well, my other friend, Violet, who I met in there, I haven't been able to get a hold of her either. I need to talk to these people and find out what's going on with them because if it's something that's happening to them too, then, uh, then I think we might have ourselves a situation here. they were a part of this experiment. Work your connections. We need this list. Sure you want to do this? Yes, I need to get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna message you with a time and a place. I want you to meet me there later. Thank you. I used to sleep, <laughs> like, yeah, we sleep, we're humans. Um, I don't sleep anymore, and I don't get tired. I mean, does that make any sense to anyone? I am not the same person I used to be, and um, unfortunately, my buddy Steve, who went in with me, has passed away. Tall, hey man, <laughs> for baby, she's tall, bro. For me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's your list. There's no going back.
less focus on the girl. You're talking to psychics now? Tori, you did good. I'll take it from here. Miss Kennedy, I'm Tori Keller with the FBI. May I come in and speak with you? No, now's not a good time. You know you've been reported missing a few days now. I'd like to come and speak with you. Well, as you can see, I'm right here. I'm just fine. I have some information regarding your immediate safety. If you could please call me as soon as possible. Thank you. Have a good day. Digging around, but you kept digging. But you kept digging and digging. Not the monster. 
lips. <laughs> well, please, you guys, I need your help on this. Um, I can't find any answers on my own. So basically, I just wanted to warn anyone out there, um, if you get one of those yellow flyers, they're all over the district, do not go. Do not go. What they tell you is a lie. I am proof, I'm living proof that what they're telling you is a lie. I am not the same person I used to be. So, oh, yeah, I, I think I know what's going to happen to me, but if there's any way, anything you guys can do, anything you guys can do, please. Okay. Bye. Thank you.